fucking shot. That's the fucking shot. A stockfish Tony Davis is the coolest thing. Oh, are you fucking serious? This week is fucking insane, bro. Home to world-class trout fisheries like Beaverkill, Willowmack, and Wiscoy Creek. New York State is a major trout capital of the United States. With over 70,000 miles of streams and rivers, there's no reason not to be outside exploring. The western region of New York is mainly flat farmland, scarce with good wild trout streams, but phenomenal for Lake Erie steelhead. The Finger Lakes, huge bodies of water carved out by glaciers millions of years ago. Shale rock walls and deep valleys litter the hillsides, miles of untouched wilderness waiting to be fished. pass with treacherous terrain, just off a seasonal unmaintained dirt road. Something others are not willing to endure, we take as a challenge to find the fish of a lifetime. From fishing still water swamps to picturesque limestone creeks, New York does not have little to offer. Whether it's 5.30 in the morning or 11 o'clock at night, you can find us in the water every day of the week. One of our favorite holes is definitely this one. Being only 15 minutes from us, it's an easy spot after work where you're guaranteed a fish. It's a private spot that not a lot of people have access to on a very well-known creek. During spring and fall, when the water is higher, the browns will suck up a nymph every drift. When the water is low in the summer, a dry fly strike from a rainbow is always a thrill to see.
you get that? It might be the same stock. It might be the same shape. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. And it was it the same thing? I can't tell. Oh. I honestly couldn't tell. Oh, this one looks kind of. It's. It looks more pale. From that. He's dark. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Are you for real? Oh. Same, that, that's the same fish. No, it's not. That's the same fish with his cheeks. No, dude, that's a different fish, bro. That's totally a different fish. Here, we'll do it right here. This is perfect. Dude, that's a totally different fish. Look at the fins. Look at the fins. Totally different. Oh, yeah. Bro, are you serious? You want to hold that for just a second? Dude, that might go like, bro, I'm being dead serious. This might go over 20. This might be my new PB. Dude, new PB. Right there. 21. 21 and a quarter. Bro, are you fucking serious? This week is fucking insane, bro. This is insane. This is fucking insane, bro. How's it feel in Collins? Um, he said, but I don't want to fight him because I don't want to break off it for the third time. Right? Yeah. Well, that might be Rainbow, man. Coming up. Oh, oh. Rainbow. I think so. Just above the waterfall, the creek bed turns from slippery rock to brown, mossy slate. The browns dissipate, but the rainbows become plentiful. Having a mayfly hatch on the way, they could not get enough of the mayfly nymph I was using. It's amazing what those things will eat. Oh, it's almost like a torch nymph. Dude, I'm surprised that thing is fighting like that. That that fish is whooping him. Oh no! There it is. Many of these small fisheries we go to, you have one shot. Every cast needs to be as accurate as possible. Creating the most natural drift ensures a fish every time. Knowing a lot about entomology is key to success on these streams as well. Knowing exactly what these trout are eating can be tricky without it. Their diet consists of bugs. Mayflies, caddis, and stoneflies is what we typically would throw.
almost all of the flies I use, I tie myself. A lot of people say fly tying is an art. I really believe that. With endless materials, there's millions of different patterns that can be tied. You also have the ability to come up with your own patterns that might work better than what you find in the store. It's by far the easiest way to imitate any bug out there. Just like this WD-40, which would be a small betis or blue winged olive. How did you pull that out of it? Go, go. This is a picture of that fish that he just caught last year, and that just goes to show that catch and release does work. Take care, proper care of your fish, and you can catch them time and time again. Because that thing got way bigger. <laughs> that was awesome.
So, before we do anything with this fish, it wasn't recording yet. I threw in, I just dropped my fly just a little bit, like maybe three, four inches. Indicator goes down, and immediately this fish just rockets like three feet in the air. And I'm like, Colin, are you getting this? He's like, not yet, not yet. We did three jumps. And then another one down here that I think you got that one on video, right? What the hell is going on with this fish? Okay, so okay. get a shot right in the water. All the way from okay, here. The caddis. All the way down into that tree down there. Dude, <laughs> and I was calm the whole time. Usually I'm screaming. Ate the peeping caddis. Watch again, guys. Bam, right out. And I get my flies out of the net. Also, another thing that's super important, I really like to run a rubber netting. This is one by Oris. They got like a thread coated, or a rubber net coated thread. It's super good on the trout. They obviously have a really light, or a really uh, sensitive slime layer. Dude, look at that wild. Bro, you can't tell me that thing has not got the widest back. Oh. My word, he's not gonna be happy when I do this, so we're gonna have to be really quick with this shot. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Two. It's not a giant. It's not a giant by any means. But the fight, the fight of that fish was insane. Oh my God, give me some, hell yeah. We've recently just figured out about a new stretch of creek, rumored to hold native brook trout. Not known by a lot of people, we had high hopes walking to the first hole. The stench of dried up moss as a result of little rainfall in the past month hit our noses. Continuing on, a tributary providing fresh water dumps in. One of the smallest creeks we've ever fished is now an engraved memory in our heads. We have been find, er, searching for this creek between me and him on separate trips. We went one other time together for going on, what, three years? Pretty much. Three years we've been trying to find this creek below a certain body of water that's not far from us. I know of another stretch that I've already fished on this creek way back when I was a kid when all I knew how to use was worms in a trout stream. And we just found it. Well, Colin found it, I have to give him credit. And that's my first native brookie in a long time. And dude, I'm in awe right now. Like, oh, dude, the fight was, it, it, they, don't, they don't fight hard. But just seeing those fish, dude, in this little tank, show them a hole. <laughs> I am, I'm in love. <laughs> Only native trout to the eastern united states i don't care who you are 
if you call a brown a native, a rainbow a native, any of those fish, you're a fucking retard. Colin may call them natives. We give them shit for it, but we just let it go. Brook trout are the only native trout to the eastern United States. And on top of that, they're actually not a trout at all. They're a char. But... Oh, dude, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what to say right now. I'm, I'm so happy right now getting that fish. Give me some, Colin. Fuck yes, dude. Can you explain what we just did just to catch a brookie? We just trespassed on two properties and almost got lost three separate times or four separate times. I have to get a ride back up the car. How long did we just walk? Um, two or three miles? Probably 45 minutes, I'd say. Hey! Hey! <laughs> To us, fishing is what brings us peace. It's our time. Time to have fun. Finally get a break from a regular 9-to-5 job. Escape the world that it has become. As soon as we step foot out of the car, Get our rods rigged up, waders on, we no longer have any stress built up. At times, we may get a little mad while we're fishing. Donovan especially. We have our reason though. As Donovan and I were talking on the way home one day, he said something that made me even more inspired to chase these fish. Some of these browns, rainbows, or even brookies that we catch could one day be a 25, 30 inch fish, and we were one of the first people to ever catch them.
close to him. These fish and are fucking retard pick fish. <laughs> Mike, what do you got to say? Is it good for fly fishing? Hey, I may look like a bum. I don't give a fly fuck. Oh fuck! <laughs> we should put that in the video. <laughs>